Attention, duelists! If you could all stop staring at my hair for a moment. We got some things to talk about. I'm super excited about the Battle of Chaos set that's being released. And the premiere event is going down tomorrow. And I've got some feelings about this set I want to share with you guys. And see if you agree. <laughs> Okay, so Battle of Chaos, it's being released next week, but there's a premiere event going down tomorrow. We're going to get two boxes, which is going to be followed by an opening. So be prepared for that. That's going to be dropping tomorrow. We may even go live for that one. Now, here are the good things about Battle of Chaos. Number one, this set has so many things that personally I can use not only in my Spellcaster deck, but in my Karibo deck, they just had that new skill Brown Magician drop. And you got the new archetypes that are coming out in this set. All around, this is a set that appeals to a lot of different people. And personally, I think it's one of the best sets that they've released since Invasion of Chaos. Now, of course, that's a subjective take because a lot of different people like different archetypes. And they like to play with a lot of different kinds of monsters. So this may not appeal to other people in the game, which is totally understandable why they wouldn't think it's one of the best sets ever. Personally, this Dark Magician support that's coming out is unbelievable. And the Magic Karibo, which is similar to Dark Spirit of Banishment, is really cool and something that I'm looking forward to. In a way, it's almost like a never-ending eternal soul without the second effect. Talking about the Starlights too, Blue Eyes Jet Dragon, that thing looks absolutely beautiful. But the Illusion of Chaos, if we get lucky enough to pull that Starlight Rare, I'm going to have a really hard time letting that go. The Dark Magicians is a really cool Starlight Rare, looks really pretty, but personally I prefer the Ultra Rare. I may be in the minority in that, but if we pulled that, we're definitely going to get that sucker graded. Now I want to talk about some of the bad things we've been seeing. There's a content creator on YouTube that we really love watching his openings, Ruxin34, who recently bought two cases of the Grand Creators and didn't pull a single Collector's Rare out of two whole cases. This is ridiculous. Most recently in El Dorado, we've seen unbelievable misprints, which for collectors of misprints is nice, but people who want these cards to use them legally can't because they're so jacked up. So as collectors and sellers, if you're buying two cases to get a handful of collector's rares and not even getting one, this is awful. It may be nice for people who get the error boxes, but this is going to be terrible in the long run. Recent quality control for Konami has been a little shaky and people are starting to get a little nervous about that, especially as we start getting into Battle of Chaos and Ghost from the Past too. Now the ugly. I'm a big fan of the Bandai cards. I actually have a couple of them in my personal collection just because I love the illustrations so much. When Konami announced that they were going to be redoing the Dark Magician, I was really excited and I actually considered putting this in my deck as well. Really, I just wanted to be able to play with it. I think it's a really cool looking card. It doesn't stick as well as the Bandai version, but it is still really cool. Then they announced the pull rate was going to be ridiculous. I'm sure most of you have heard by now, but the pull rate for this card is going to be roughly one in every 1,726 packs. They're saying one in six cases this card is going to be dropped in. That right off the bat makes it one of the most rarest cards to pull in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! history. So that kind of puts me in a crappy dilemma because now if I pull that card, which I won't, there's zero way I'm going to hold on to this thing. I'm going to get that sucker graded. It's basically a lottery ticket at this point. So for the pull rate for this card to be so ridiculous to begin with and the quality control that we've seen recently from Konami, I'm worried that this card is going to be almost impossible to get. Unfortunately for us, there's very little information that's been released about this card other than his pull rate. All in all, I'm excited for Battle of Chaos. I am so ready to open these boxes. We've got three on pre-order. We're buying two tomorrow, and we're doing the opening. We can't wait to share it with you guys. As always, you can check us out, subscribe us, follow us. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and all the cards that we don't use get put right up on our TCG. And you can always message us if you see a card and you want to claim it. As always, I appreciate your guys' time and for you subscribing to the channel as well. Yu-Gi-Oh! is an awesome game. I love watching openings and I love creating content. So I'm glad we can all enjoy this together. Until next time. Deuces.